Plant Density Distance Methods Density is defined as the number of individuals per unit area, and density reflects the closeness of individuals to one another. In certain vegetation types, it can be difficult to measure density using counting methods that use quadrats or plots. This is particularly true in forests, woodlands, and in some shrublands. With distance methods, these are plotless methods, and so there are no edges or boundaries at which we need to make a decision. Using a distance method can not only save time in certain situations, but also reduce the potential for errors that are made at when we're making decisions at the boundaries of plots or quadrats. For example, when we're measuring plant density, we often have to make this decision about whether a plant is in or out when it occurs near the boundary of our plots. With distance methods, we don't have to worry about whether a plant is in or out. The main concept that unites mean area uh, distance methods is the mean area concept. With this approach, we measure the distance between two plants, and we do that for multiple pair for multiple plants. We then convert the distances that we've measured to the average area that is occupied by a plant. Mean area is abbreviated with MA. We then convert mean area to density. And we can do this because the units for density are reciprocal to the units for mean area. The number of plants per unit area is reciprocal to the mean area per plant. Distance methods are most often used in situations where we are interested in focusing on a single species, often when they are closely spaced together, and when we are working in relatively large areas, because this can result in a confusing situation to be working in. Potential problems associated with distance methods are that most of these methods assume a random distribution of plants, and we know that, in general, plants are not randomly distributed in the landscape. In the next part of the presentation, we are going to be focusing on the most common distance methods that are used, and this includes nearest individual, nearest neighbor, random pairs, point center quarter method, and the wandering quarter method. The principle that unites distance methods is the use of a transect that is placed through the area of interest and there are multiple sampling points that are located across the area or on the transect. In this case we're going to be looking at a transect that has two sample points. Now most transects are of course going to have more than two sample points for the for the sake of um, demonstration two will be sufficient. So the first method that we're going to be considering is the nearest individual method. In this case, from our first sample point, we would locate the plant that is closest to that sample point and measure that distance. We do this for the next sample point as well. Now, note that we are not measuring the distance between plants. We're measuring the distance from plants to the transect. And in that way, it is somewhat artificial because it's dependent on the placement of the transect. But it's important to know how this method works. A more preferred method is the nearest neighbor method. In this case, we start out at our sample point and we locate the plant that is closest to that sample point. We're going to call this plant the focal plant. And we then measure the distance 
from the focal plant to its nearest neighbor. We repeat this process for the next sample point, locating the focal plant and then measuring the distance from the focal plant to its nearest neighbor. Random pairs starts out very similarly. We locate the focal point or the closest plant to the sample point. But in this case, we draw a line through the sample point that is perpendicular to the line that we've established from the sample point to the focal plant. We then consider the plants that fall behind the perpendicular line, find the plant that is closest to the focal plant behind this perpendicular line and measure that distance. So we'll see another example here. We locate the focal plant, we establish a line that is perpendicular, it runs through the sample point and it's perpendicular to the line formed from the sample point to the focal plant and then we measure the distance to the plant that is closest to the focal plant but occurs behind the perpendicular line. The point center quarter method is different in that we draw a line through our sample point that is perpendicular to the transect. Effectively, this creates four different quadrants that are established relative to the transect line and the with the sample point at the center. We then locate the plant that is closest to our sample point within each one of those quadrants. We measure each one of these distances and then we take an average of these distances by summing each of the distances and then dividing by four. So we will get an average distance that's associated with each one of the sample points. We can see this demonstrated again for the next sample point. We've established four quadrants around that sample point. We then draw lines or measure the distance between the sample point to the nearest plant within each quadrant, measure those distances, and take an average value. Next we're going to talk about how we then calculate de density from these measurements. And in this example, we're using an example of a um, measurements that were taken using the nearest neighbor method. In our simple example here, we have a transect that has three points on it, and we can see that we've measured the distance between our focal plant and its nearest neighbor for each one of the sample points. There is a conversion equation that is specific to the nearest neighbor method. Before we, in order to use this equation, we need to come up with a distance that is an average distance for the transect. The transect is the sample unit. And so we take the three measurements that we have, divide by three, and come up with an average distance of 1.4 meters. We then plug that into our mean area equation multiply 1.67 times 1.4 and then square that which converts it to 2.34 meters squared per plant. We can then convert that value to density by simply taking the reciprocal of 2.34 meters squared and that is 0 0.43 plants per meter squared. Now it's important to report density in units that are meaningful for the application or the situation in which we are measuring. And if we're measuring plants 
such as trees and shrubs, we would never report that as 0.43 plants per meter squared. We would usually convert that to the number of plants per hectare. And so here you can see how that conversion is done, which would result in, by multiplying the density that we have of 0.43 plants per meter squared by 10,000 meters squared per hectare, we would then result in an estimate of 4,300 plants per hectare. There are conversion equations that are associated with each of the methods. They have similar formats, but there's different conversion factors in these equations. So if you were using the random pairs method, you would multiply your average distance by 0 0.87 and then square that to de determine a mean area for the transect. You would then convert that value from mean area to density by taking the reciprocal. And remember that the transect is the sampling unit. In the last method that we're going to examine, the wandering quarter method, uh, we have a different situation because we establish a transect, but the transect doesn't stay straight. So first we locate a focal plant. Once we've located that plant, we establish a, uh, a 90 degree angle. And this 90 degree angle remains static. Within this angle, we find the distance that is uh, to the closest plant that, is, that occurs within the bounds of this angle, and we measure that distance. Now, the closest plant becomes the next focal plant. We reestablish this same uh, quarter or quadrant held at the same, in the same direction and measure the distance to the nearest plant in that particular quadrant. And we continue this process. In this case, we can see that even though these plants appear to be closer to our focal plant, their centers, or the stem of the plant, falls outside of the bounds of the quadrant. And so the nearest plant is actually this one here. And so this process is repeated as uh, on this transect. And so you can see why it's called a wandering quarter. With the wandering quarter method, it does not assume a random plant distribution. And the analysis is slightly different because it uses a non-parametric statistical approach to calculate mean density and then to convert that mean area and then convert that to density. And this analysis is, is somewhat more complicated and beyond the scope of this particular presentation. So to review, distance methods are an alternative to plot-based counting methods. They are united by the mean area concept, and mean area has an inverse relationship to density. There are multiple types of distance methods that can be employed and used depending on the management objectives and the type of vegetation that you are working in.